What's up everybody, BQ here. This is the Impact Lounge. First timers, hit that subscribe button. Second, third, fourth, fifth, fiftieth timers. Thank you for being loyal and uh, listening to me each and every week. So Laurel Van Ness, or as I like to say, Laurel Van Yes, has been reported, and then this was just a few days ago, we talked about this, that she reportedly requested her release from Impact Wrestling. It has now been further reported that she has been denied that request. And it's been further reported that her contract runs through, I believe, July 2018. Now, one thing we need to keep in mind, we never know the context of the conversations when someone asks for their release. We don't know their reasons. We don't know if she just went in there like, hey, um, I'm, I'm seeing if, you know, maybe you guys are request grant my release if not it's okay you know we obviously probably not in those words in any way whatsoever but you get what i'm saying you know it doesn't mean that because she requested a release that she went down and slammed her foot and slammed her hand on the table and said i quit you know what i'm saying so we never know uh the reasons but it's good to see if this is true it's good to see impact wrestling and anthem taking a stand and putting their foot down because a contract is a contract in sports. I used the analogy before of in the NBA. Players all the time, I don't like my role here. I want to leave. Well, you signed a contract. We're not going to trade you. Wait until free agency. So it looks like that's what's happened here. Hopefully. Because this was a bad look for the knockouts division. Uh, for her to request a release. In the middle of tapings again. Someone leaving in the middle of the tapings again. And getting the push that she's getting right now with the knockout. She just won uh, at the three-way on this past episode of Impact. So, really bad look. And as I mentioned, it was really funny timing because she had just posted that picture with Rosemary saying that they were, you know, uh, determined to be the best women's division in the world. And I, I do think she thinks that. When I say I think she wants to wrestle with the WWE, I don't, I don't think she means, you know, I don't want to be here at Impact Wrestling. You know, I think she's made it very clear in interviews and everything that that's her goal. And that's fine. But get there when you get there. Just because you're, you know, got some steam going with Impact Wrestling and all of a sudden the opportunity comes up, don't don't try to leave before your contract is up. So, it, if this is all true, it's really good to see Impact putting their foot down. And I think we're going to see some really good things from Laurel. But with that being said... If, if they feel that it is her intent to leave in July, then we could see her push deflated very fast. She could go to a, I mean, she kind of is a comedy character, but we could see that, you know, tenfold. We could see, um, we can see her go straight comedy, straight jobbing here very shortly. So it's going to be interesting to see how the booking is uh, on the next set of tapings in Orlando. So it looks like right now she's getting a strong booking. It's going to be interesting to see. And she's advanced to the finals on the knockouts tournament. It's going to be very telling who the company wants to hitch their wagon to for the knockouts, whoever her opponent is, whether it's Allie or Rosemary. I don't think it's going to be Sienna. I don't, I don't really see a heel versus heel there. So I think it's going to be Allie or Rosemary. It's going to be, I'm, I'm go, kind of going with Allie on this, but it's going to be really interesting to see because that's going to be the one they say, okay, this is the one, um, that we want to roll with for the division. So with Laurel, let's see how the booking changes, how it differs after the set of tapings, because if they start to feel like she wants to leave, it could go bad. I don't think that the relationship with her and the company is bad at all. My good buddy, Andre Corbeil <laughs> tweeted at her about um, his displeasure for the knockouts championship. And she, she since she since deleted these tweets, but she responded and you know so we're busting our ass over here and you know he kind of let her know no disrespect intended and she said when you disrespect my company the company you work for you disrespect me so I think Laurel's a very loyal soldier I just think there was an opportunity that maybe uh, poked its head out and she tried to feel it out and the company said sorry so with all this being said it's good that hopefully we're keeping around but it doesn't sound like we're going to have her around past the summer. I think that's a fair bet. Thanks for listening, guys. Please hit subscribe. 
If you've made it this far, congratulations, and talk to you guys soon. Peace.